When Sarah walked on stage for her audition for the 17th season of America's Got Talent, AGT to many, everything about her screamed star. Unlike most contestants whose nerves show as soon as they appear, Sarah was composed and had an aura of calmness around her. She owned the stage and wasn't intimidated by the fully packed auditorium as she shared lighthearted exchanges with Simon Cowell, revealing that she was just 13 years old, which shocked the judges and the audience since she spoke and conversed with a level of maturity way above her age. The crowd went quiet as Sarah took a deep breath and calmly launched into her performance of Lovely by Billie Eilish. The performance embodied the classic calmness and maturity that Sarah's fans have now come to love, showing off her excellent vocal control as she hit and held high notes, raised and lowered her voice to capture the deeply emotional meaning the song has to her, and held the attention of her audience with her ability to pass on her emotions to them through her voice. Sarah's trance-like hold on the crowd was broken when she sang the last note, sending Howie Mandel, Heidi Klum, and Sofia Vergara to their feet with the audience to applaud the 13-year-old musical prodigy as a still-seated Simon Cowell clapped. When the crowd calmed down, Simon talked about how coming to the U.S. changed his life, adding that he would like to make Sarah's first time in the country memorable before crowning her musical prowess an outstanding performance with the golden buzzer. With one press of the button, Simon Cowell sent Sarah on the path that AGT musical prodigies before her have followed to stardom. Now, every person who watches Sarah's audition on YouTube asks the question, how is Sarah James doing now? Born on June 10, 2008, Sarah Zofia Egwu James isn't yet 15 years old, born to a Polish mother while her father is of Nigerian descent but grew up in the U.S. She has three siblings, Michelle James, John Jr., and Jacob Dancevich. At her age, Sarah is just in high school, but holds a first degree in music from Subice and plays the piano and the guitar. Despite gaining global success for a raw, powerful voice that she's learned to control, allowing her to hit high and low notes without straining, Sarah is continuing her music education by taking vocal lessons with Edita Kriegel and practicing her singing and performing at the Municipal Cultural Center. Sarah gets her musical talent and interest in singing, playing instruments, and performing from her parents. Her father, John, is a singer and performer who has participated in talent competitions. In 2011, he was one of the X Factor contestants, appeared in the Bitwana Voices choir singing competition as part of a choir, and half of the Polish singing duet, Louie and John, under contract with Sony Music Poland. Sarah's mother is equally musically talented, but didn't pursue music professionally, although sang in church when Sarah was growing up. Inspired by her mother's passionate performances and her father's professional musical acts, Sarah joined a local children's choir and staged several performances across the city. She honed her vocal and performing skills through seasonal performances, such as in local Christmas carols festival, and entered some singing competitions for children. Although her parents are now separated, they both support Sarah in her aspiration for a career in music and have shared her confidence that she will rise to become a global music icon. Since she started singing at four years and staged performances individually and as part of a group at just six years of age, Sarah entered her first major singing competition, World Talent Show, in 2020 when she was just 12 years old. Placing third in the competition, she was the proud recipient of the coveted silver microphone, an honor to receive the award at the closing performance at the Lubuski Song Festival Pro Arte. Although she didn't win, emerging third emboldened Sarah and encouraged her to sign up for larger competitions. In 2021, Sarah entered her name for consideration for a slot in The Voice Kids Poland. For her blind audition, Sarah chose to perform Demi Lovato's Anyone. Her performance, which has gathered over 4.5 million views on YouTube, enthralled the audience and had coaches pressing their buttons and turning within seconds to indicate they wanted her on their teams. She chose Thompson and Barron and embarked on a journey of musical discovery as she learned from the two rock stars. Thompson and Barron's mentorship was evident in Sarah's first battle on The Voice Kids. She battled two fellow contestants, Amelia and Matilda, performing Mariah Carey's Hero. 
Although the two girls were talented, Sarah beat them easily and earned the favor of all judges as well as the admiration of the live audience. With her new status as a fan favorite, Sarah put on impressive performances, particularly in the finals, when a whistle note in her performance of Will Ferrell and Molly Sandin's Husavik, My Hometown, had the crowd on its feet, clapping and screaming for minutes after she finished singing. Sarah's ability to impress the crowd with the raw power of her voice, the passion she put into her performances, and her ability to improve on the past performances under the guidance of her coaches earned her first place in the competition. With the title of the winner of the fourth season of The Voice Kids Poland, Sarah set her eyes on competitions outside her native Poland as part of a strategy to take her voice and music career global. One year later, Sarah entered Szanza na Sukses, a Polish talent show that offered an opportunity for its winners to participate in a European junior singing competition. For the competition's finale, Sarah sang her way into the audience's hearts with her cover of Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, which won her the competition, receiving the most votes from both audience and judges and installing her as Poland's representative in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2021. In December that year, Sarah, who had never performed outside Poland, went to Paris for the contest. Unlike her past performances, in which she sang covers of her favorite songs, Sarah made the bold and risky decision to perform her own original song, Somebody. Her gamble paid off, as she received a standing ovation from the audience and emerged second in the competition to Armenia. Although she didn't win, the audience and jury's reaction to her song and performance gave her the boost of confidence she needed to try for a spot in America's Got Talent. The Voice Kids Poland laid a foundation for Sarah's success in her music career, while the Junior Eurovision Song Contest gave her a platform to take her music to the rest of Europe. But she remained relatively unknown in the rest of the world until 2022, when she earned her spot on America's Got Talent, or AGT. At AGT, Sarah carved a spot out as a fan favorite with her first performance, which earned her a golden buzzard from the fastidious and fellow European record executive Simon Cowell. When Simon gave Sarah a permanent spot in the live shows in Las Vegas, Nevada, the then 13-year-old secured a platform to showcase her voice and performing prowess to an American audience. However, the guaranteed spot didn't lessen her resolve to continue delivering unforgettable performances that would earn her fans among the show's global audience. In the semifinals, her first performance after the audition, Sarah sang Elton John's Rocket Man, earning herself another standing ovation from the audience. The performance has attracted over 4 million views on YouTube and over 4,700 comments each expressing awe over her ability to hit, hold, and switch notes effortlessly while maintaining control of her vocals. In the finals, Sarah impressed the audience with a cover of Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, which had all four judges on their feet celebrating with the crowd and hoping that the emotional, well-paced, and captivating rendition of the song earned the 13-year-old the ultimate prize. However, she wasn't named among the top five, finishing in the bottom six of the top 11 contestants in the show. Although she didn't win the competition, she left with a large group of loyal fans who flocked to the comment section of the video of her performance in the finals to express their surprise and disappointment that she wasn't named the winner of AGT season 17. However, Sarah was chosen as one of the contestants for America's Got Talent All-Stars earlier in 2023 against musical prodigies and groups from past seasons, such as the Bellow Sisters, the Light Balance Kids, Aiden Bryant, and the Detroit Youth Choir. For this occasion, Sarah chose As It Was by recent Grammy Award winner Harry Styles. Before her performance, Sarah engaged in a conversation with Simon Cowell, discussing her performance in the previous competition and aspirations for the future. Her characteristic confidence and promise that she would become the first AGT prodigy to win a Grammy had the crowd eagerly waiting to be blown away by her performance. Sarah didn't disappoint the judges and her audience, producing her classic, powerful, moving, and captivating performance, which gained 2.8 million views on YouTube in just four weeks. 
Her rendition of the original song included most of the notes from the original, but Sarah had altered some, transforming the song into a masterpiece. Unfortunately, she was up against fan favorites and prodigies from other seasons of AGT, who staged equally remarkable performances, and once again she was eliminated. Although the audience, judges, and Sarah's fans are convinced that she's on her way to becoming a global icon in the music industry. In 2017, Sarah released an extended playlist entitled Just Like Me, containing four songs, Blind, Boys Like You, Just Like Me, and If I Ever. She wrote and released three other original songs in 2021, including Sarne Muin, Yak Soroku, and the song she performed at her first regional competition, Somebody. After a successful stint at AGT, Sarah James was signed by Universal Music Polska, and she's since written and released six original songs, including My Wave and Take Sama. In addition, Sarah has released several covers as part of her record deal, most notably Harry Styles' As It Was and Elton John's Rocket Man. Her raw, powerful, and well-controlled voice, ability to bring out the emotion in her originals and covers, and to hold long notes has earned Sarah millions of listeners across all music streaming platforms. In 2022, she became the most streamed artist on Spotify's Equal Global Playlist, with over 10 million streams on the platform. She was honored to become the first Polish artist to earn the coveted ambassadorial role on the music streaming platform. Sarah hopes to win a Grammy someday. In 2023, she's planning a tour with her new album, during which she hopes to unveil a more mature sound and present herself to the world as a seasoned artist. Sarah also hopes to become a role model for young people and women from all over the world, encouraging them to pursue their dreams. The future is full of possibilities and opportunities for Sarah to stage performances all over the world, share her voice and new sound with her fans, and release more original music. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on social media or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.